Hi, welcome back to C Programming. I am your Dr. Vasu. Hope you are enjoying uh, this uh, pointers topic very well. And uh, if you have any queries or any doubts, please do comment. Let's continue with these pointers. And you can find all these uh, programs in the description section. I have given the link. All the programs are stored in Google Drive. You can find the link in the description. So here, assigning values indirectly. Let us see how these values are assigned to these pointers here. Let's take uh, two variables, x and y, and two pointers are declared. Values for these x and y are assigned. x is 100, y is 200. Address of x is assigned to P1. Address of y is assigned to P2. Now, x and y values, you can see. Address of x, P1. Address of y, P2. We know all these details. And here, coming to this, it is a value of x. Okay, variable x. Address of x here. Okay, ampersand x. Address of x. And it is pointing to this value. Now, it is also called as P1 because it is assigned, address of x is assigned to P1, pointer P1. Its value is star P1. This is about x. Coming to y, it is y, variable y, assigned with the 200, its address, and its ampersand y or P2, both refer to this address. And here star P2 is this value. This is about y. So we have taken two variables and their addresses, pointers, everything is clear here. Now, if you observe the, or if you just run this program, compile and execute, you get x, y, p1, p2. Let's get this. It's very clear and very simple, right? x value, y value, got it. x address, y address, 72, 76, fine. Now, Let's do a small change here. Star P2 is equal to star P1. Star P2 means the value of Y here, right? Star P2 is nothing but the value stored in the address P2, the value that is 200. Now, we have assigned star P1. Star P1 is 100. Star P1 is 100 only. This 100 is assigned to star P2. That means... This uh, y value is uh, taking 100 instead of 200. Initially, we have assigned 200, but now we are changing its value to 100. Which value that 100, you got it from star P1. So this 100 is assigned to P2. P2 is nothing but this value. So here, this is assigned here, the value. So this 100 is uh, assigned to this particular memory variable. Now, let us see. Here, y, y is equal to 100. Now, you can clearly see. Earlier, it was 200. Now, it has become 100, changed to 100. Why? Because the star P2 is assigned. It's nothing but star P2 means it's nothing but y itself. So, the y is assigned with the 100 value now. 100. Now, address of y. I want to know the address of y. So, address of y is the uh, same. There is an absolutely, there is no change. Only we have changed the memory location here, the value in this memory location. But the address is same. Only in this house, the per person has changed. Instead of Mr. Ram, Mr. Raghav has come. Right? So, instead of 200, we have 100 here. That so address of y won't change absolutely. So you want to see p2, p2 is also same whether p2 or address of y ampersand y both means same, both are same. So absolutely there is no difference in the addresses, but the value has changed here. Okay. Suppose I want to get a star p2, right? Star p2 means this value. the uh, In this particular location, pointer P2, the value. The value is must be 100. So, the value pointed by P2 is 100. We got 100 because earlier it may be 200. 
but now it is replaced. That value is old value is replaced by a new value and it is 100 now. So it will continue next further with the 100 only. So this is the way we assign the values indirectly. Suppose you want to add, assign the addresses. Let us look into it, how it happens. So here we have taken a same two variables, x and y, two pointers. Address of x is assigned to p1, address of y to p2. And uh, we want to see x, y, and p1, p2, fine, ampersand y, okay, address of y. And uh, star p1, these are the values, star p2. We want to see these values here, basing on this data. If you see the scenario, it is uh, the value variable x here, carrying 100, 100 here in this memory location. And uh, y is uh, 200, y 200, ampersand x, its address is this, x address, y address here, y address is this, these two are different, 42, 44, and 46, 8, so they are different. Now, what else? This address look, refers to the value here, 9. We call this as P1 because address of X is assigned as P1. Address of X is called P1. Address of Y is P2. Fine. Now, we call this one as in this P1, P1 address refers to this value. That's why you call P star P1. Now, if you see the output, it appears here like this. X is equal to 100. Fine. Y 100. We have assigned the value. P1, P2, P1 is 44, P2 is uh, 48, ampersand Y, 48, um, whether it is a P2 or ampersand Y, both are same, 48, clear, no problem. Star P1 is 100, star P1 is 100, star P2 is 200. So if you have star P2, it is 200. Now, suppose... I make a small change here in this program. This is a absolutely clear. Now, I want to make a small change in this program. That is, I want to assign this address, this pointer P1 to P2 means P1 is the address of X. P1 is the address of X. What is that address? 44. Okay. I want to assign this address to P2. P2 is here. Okay, so I am assigning this value of P1 to P2. Okay, this P2 is referring this value. Okay, so what happens? P2 is referring, P2 has changed. P2 initially, earlier it was 44 and 48 here. Okay, it is a different address. But now what I have done? I have and given I have assigned the value, this pointer P1, that is address of X, this address of X 44 is assigned to P2, is, this value is assigned to P2. That means earlier it was 48 here. Now the same value is assigned to P2 here. Okay. Now whether I have written this value here or here, it doesn't matter. When you refer to this 44, what is the value it is referring to? 100 only. It is the x value. When this 44, always one particular address refers to only one particular memory. That particular memory is carrying, memory location is carrying 100. So this 100, this is the 100. So 44 now is carrying this. Okay. Now, if you see this one, the output here, star p1 star p1 is 100 star p2 so here suppose if you write star p2 right star p2 what by what happens in this case star p2 means this address is referring to 100 so star p2 also is nothing but 100 star p2 this is p2 star p2 also refers to 100 here so this is the value Got it? So, this is the uh, 
care you have to take when you are changing the addresses. Actually, coming to this particular memory cell, the address of this particular cell is 48 only. Absolutely, there is no change. Earlier, we have seen the address of Y. Address of Y is not changed. But we have changed this value of this P2. The pointer value is changed. That's why the value it is referring to also has changed. Earlier, it was 200. Now, it has become 100. Okay. Now, let's make another change here. Suppose I have made this as a comment, right? And I, have, uh, I want to revert back to the original one. So I have changed this. I made it at a comment. No, we are not assigning. This will not be executed. But if you see the actual scenario, this P2, that is 48, refers to actual Y value, 200. 44 refers to 100. That's why if you see this, we get the original result. P1, star P1 is 100, star P2, 200, star P2, 200. So, like this, depending on the, the when you assign the addresses to another one, pointers here, right, this type of changes occur. And we have to be very careful when handling this sort of addresses assignment. Okay. Hope. Uh, next, uh, let us take another one. So, okay, we have taken uh, two variables, two pointers, x value, x address is the same to p1 and star p1, that means the value of x here, want to assign the value of p1, whatever the, in this pointer, this address, whatever the value is there, I want to assign this to p2 here. Okay, can we do that? Yes, no, because the P2 is not at all assigned. We don't know what P2 is. We have declared P2, that's all. But P2 is not assigned with any value. The pointer P2 is not assigned with the address of Y or something else. So only X address is assigned to P1. The value of P1 is known. That is fine. X, uh, that is 100. And here you cannot assign this to P2. Let us uh, complete this program and I want to see what happens. So X here, uh, I want to display X, P1, P2, P1, all this. And if you compile this and run, can you expect what happens? It shows an error. So here, this is the thing. We don't have any P2 here. Why is there? It's isolated. Right? It's isolated completely. And we don't have P2, star P2. I want to assign this star P2 here. Right? But what is this star P2? No idea. It is not at all assigned to anything. That's why it shows an error. It cannot, you cannot, uh, if you, even if you compile this and run, it shows an error. So we have to be very careful in assigning the values. Hope you had understood this topic very well. If you have any doubts, please do comment, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.